cultivating resilience, uh, something needed in this bitch of a 2020, right? How, how do you do that? That's what this mindset hack is, uh, is about. And who knew that we were going to be here in 2020? Who could have predicted that? I definitely didn't think I was going to be in St. Martin on the Caribbean in, in August. I definitely didn't think I was going to hold an NLP training on a rooftop coming September in Venice Beach. I wasn't expecting to put my life's work on tape in Joshua Tree and being stuck in the desert after the Bali training. I wasn't expecting any of these things and I'm sure you have your story too. And I'm sure that you have been experiencing a lot of emotions, loss and tapping into resilience. And we may as well learn something from research that has been done after Hurricane Katrina in New, York, New Orleans to survivors. And I bet if you did the same research here on St. Martin, which was uh, destroyed during Hurricane Irma, which I was in too, but then in Miami, and I ended up hiding in a hotel in Disney, Land Orlando at the time. And, and so what is it that they found? Well, they found after Hurricane Katrina, the people that bounced back and had the most resilience were actually the poor people. And you'd think it hits them harder and their houses are not as strong, but they found that the poorer people were way more resilient than the very wealthy people or the richer people. And so they had to, but why was that? Why was it? Why are they more resilient? And they found out that it boiled down to this element of emotional intelligence, which is part of the stress management composite. And the element of emotional intelligence that this was about was flexibility. And flexibility is in essence, in ever changing circumstances, when the data keeps changing on you or becomes unexpected, let's say, what is it that, that, that you're going to do? You know, you can resist that data. You can pretend it's not there. You can pretend it has to be this way and people have to go my way and this was unexpected and I don't like it. And then you go bitch it to your government and then you're going to be refusing to wear face masks or, or you're going to be hiding in your house being afraid and you're going to be sitting there Netflixing and whatever. Or you take in this new data and say, okay, well, based on this data, how can I act different? How do I need to behave different? How do I need to think different? How do I need to adapt different and survive? Adapt and survive, adapt and survive. That is a biology that has been there since our ancestors. And it turns out that poor people who in their youth, in their life, had to figure out where, the, where the, maybe the next meal has to come from, where the next job is gonna come from, or how are you gonna keep the lights on, the water running, the heating on, whatever it is, flexibility. If you can't do it the left way around, my grandma would say you do it the right way around, Nicole, you know? And, and so this is what today is about. Like, what is it that, that you could do to be more flexible? You know, if you look at the circumstances right now and the circumstances that we're gonna be heading to, which what I mean is, we're going to be heading into finishing this bullshit and then we're going to go into the world post pandemic. And when you take in that new data and you sort of let go of the way things were, where are things going to evolve into? What's going to happen in your country, your life? And when you take in the new data, what is it that you can do be, to be more flexible? Because here's the law of requisite variety. The person with the most flexibility ends up ruling the system, I would say, as an NLP trainer. So when you take in this new world, when you take in this new data and you stop resisting it, how can you be more flexible? What is it that you can do right now? I want you to consider that, set a goal on it and implement. So this is the element of flexibility in terms of emotional intelligence and part of the stress management composite. And take care of yourself and take care of each other. Be good.